Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss some more questions from the grade 7 first unit plan diversity. Let's start. First question is give four non-flowering plants. So you know plants can be classified into two groups as flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Flowering plants means plants which produce flowers and non-flowering plant means plants which do not produce plants. Examples are Cecus, Moss, Salvinia, Ferns, Drynalia. Question number two. Give the main function of following plant parts. Stem. So stem, it bears flowers, leaves, buds, fruits and seeds. The second main function is support the plant by keeping it rigid. And also, plant stem transport water and food throughout the plant body. Other than that, some plants, plant stems are capable of producing new plants through vegetative propagation, such as shoe flower, manioc, potato, like that. And also, some plant stems are green in color so they can carry out photosynthesis and some aerial stems such as kittle and sugarcane they can store food so in this question since they are asking about the main function we have to state the first three main functions roots what are the functions of roots roots fix the plant to the soil and absorb water and minerals dissolved in water and also, roots give rise to new plants through vegetative propagation. Question number three. Give the type of root which gives additional support for the plant. You know, other than the tap roots and fibrous roots and lateral roots, there are some other roots which grow above the soil. And they carry out different functions. Out of them, stilt roots and prop roots, they provide additional support to the plant. Normally steel roots they can be found in plants like pandanus and these steel roots they arise from the plant stem and provide support to the plant stem. Prop roots can be found in banyan trees. These prop roots they arise from the branches of the plant and provide support for the branches. So for the question number three the answer should be steel roots and prop roots. Question number 4. What is the function of root nodules of leguminous plants? Yes. Plants like mimosa, sesbania, then pea plants, they have a structure called root nodules in their root system. What are these root nodules? Root nodules means small nodules like structures that can be seen in the root system. Within these root nodules, there is a kind of microorganism called rhizobium that live. This bacteria, it's a kind of rhizobium means a kind of bacteria, they supply nitrogen nutrients required for the growth of the plant. And root system supply nutrients for the bacteria which live inside the nodules. So for the fourth question, the answer should be the root nodules, they provide nutrients required for the bacteria which live inside them. Question number five, fill in the blank question. So this question, it is based on different types of roots. Yes, banyan tree. Banyan tree, so what is the special type of root they have? As I told you, they possess prop roots. The special function of this prop root is they support the branches. Second row, they have given the function of the special root, that is give additional support to the stem. So this is done by steel root. An example is pandanus. Third row, beetle. You know, beetle, pepper, right? They have climbing roots. These climbing roots helps to climb the stem by attaching to another stem. 
Then fourth row, we have Avicenna. What is that? It is a kind of mangrove plant. So you know, if it is a mangrove plant, it should possess respiratory roots. What is the function of respiratory roots? Respiratory roots, they exchange air with the atmosphere. And last one is food storage. Yes, which type of roots possess this food storage function? Storage roots. Examples are carrot, beetroot, then sweet potato can be stated. Question number six. How does orchid plant get the water? Yes, what is the special type of uh, root that the orchid plant possesses? They possess aerial roots. A kind of roots which are in, uh, green in color at the young stage, then they turn to white color. So what is the function? These aerial roots, they absorb water vapor from the atmosphere and some aerial roots carry out photosynthesis. So in the question number 6, they are asking how does orchid plants get the water? They get the water through the aerial roots, right? Aerial roots absorb water vapor from the atmosphere. Question number 7. Give two plants which have photosynthetic stems. Hathavarya, Navahandi, here as if they have photosynthetic stem. Question number 8. Give two plants which have underground stem. So, ginger, then we have a colocasia, what else? Ginger, colocasia, potato, leeks, onion, they all possess underground stems. Question number 9. What are the benefits of underground stem with the function of food storage? Yes, underground stem with the function of food storage. You know, some underground stem, they serve the function of storage of food. And also, perination and something called sexual propagation. During the adverse season, the aerial parts of the plant get destroyed but the underground stem survive. During the favorable season, right, new sprouts or new plants come out from the underground stem using that stored food. So the benefits of underground stem with function of food storage are perination and sexual propagation. Question number 10. Give two plants which have parallel venation. Parallel venation. We know plants show two types of venation. Leaf venation. Reticulate venation and parallel venation. What is parallel venation means? Parallel venation means when nuts lie parallel to the midrib of the leaf. So parallel venation can be known and can be seen normally in monocotyledonous plant such as grass, coconut, aricanat like that. Question number 11. Write the functions of leaves with suitable examples. So what is the main function of plant leaves? You know plant leaves are green in color so they are adapted to carry out photosynthesis. So the main function of a plant leaf is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis plant produce food in leaves. And also, some leaves are adapted to store water, such as aloe vera. And some leaves, such as acapona, begonia, they can produce new plants. This is called vegetative propagation. Question number 12. Name two plants which are reproduced by leaves. So again, the answer should be acapona and Section number 13, they have given a longitudinal section of a flower. You know, flower is the main reproductive structure of a plant. In a typical flower, there are three main parts. Sepals, petals, gynosium and or androsium. That means some plants carry out only the gynosium or female part and 
Some plants carry out only the male part or androsia, and some other plants they carry both female and male part. In the first question, we have to identify the parts from A to F. Yes, let's see what is part A. Part A is the stigma. Part B is the stamen. C it denotes petals. D stine. E sepals and F is the ovules. Right. Question number one. Identify the letters which denote the androsium part. You know androsium means that is the male part of the flower. Normally, androsium is consists of stamen. Each stamen is made up of two parts as anther and filament. And what is the function of this androsium? That is the production of pollen. So in the first question, they are asking identify the letters which denote the androsium part. So the answer should be B. Question number two. Identify the letters which denote the gynosium part. Gynosium part means female part of the flower. Right, female part. Gynosium, it is consists of three main parts. Stigma, style and ovary. Ovules are present within the ovary. And the function of gynosium is the production of seeds. In the second question, they are asking us to identify the letters which denote the gynosium part. So, it should include the stigma, style and ovules or ovary. So, we can take A, B, F. Question number 3. What is the function of part C? Yes, what is part C? It is petals. You know, plants have co different colors of petals. Some are white in color, some are very colorful. What is the function of petals? Petals, they attract insects for pollination as well as protect the internal parts of the flower. So for the third question, the answer should be, they attract insects for pollination and they protect the internal parts of the flower. Question number D. What is the function of part B? Part B means stamen. So what is the function? Production of pollen. Part 5. Write the adaption of part C in flower that blooms at night. Part C means here yeah, petals. Normally, you know, flowers that blooms in night are white in color. Example, say palika. Right? Then jasmine we can stay. So they all are white in color. Right? Question number six. Which part of flower is produced pollen grains? So pollen grains are produced by the stamen. Right? It is denoted by the letter B. Right? You can write B stamen. Question number seven. What is the difference between steel roots and prop roots? If we take steel roots, they arise from the stem of the plant and they provide support for the stem. Prop roots, they arise from the branches of a plant and they provide support for the branches. That is the major difference between steel roots and prop roots. Last question. What is the importance of seed disposal? Not disposal, it is dispersal. Yes, dispersal of seeds is very important for the survival of plant species. Why? If plant grows too closely together, they have to compete for light, water and nutrients from the soil. So, but if the seed dispersal disperse, right? The seed dispersal, it allows the plant to spread out from a wide area and avoid competing with one another for same resources. So this is the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to watch more videos. And I hope you learned something.
hope to see you all with another video